Hi, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to review my sewing machine, which is the Singer Patchwork. Um, I've had this machine now for about 18 months um, and it's a really, really, really good machine, whether you're a beginner or a more experienced sewer. Um, it's it's really nice and lightweight, so it's got a handle here, so you can actually take it to classes. Um, you can do things like twin needle with it. Um, it's got some fabulous, if I just move it round, oops, you can see the window. Um, fabulous stitches on it, perfect for quilting, um, especially number 63, which is really difficult to do in real life, but this machine just does it automatically. If I just pop it on... You've got your little LCD display here and all the stitches are numbered. So say I wanted to do the um, wiggly snake stitch as I call it. So it's number 63 so I go 1, 2, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3 and there it is. You can alter the width and the length of your stitches just by using these little buttons here. I like this machine because it's not over complicated. Um, you know, there's no there's no programming to do. It doesn't remember stuff. I mean, you, you know, but it, it it's a really good beginner's machine. Other features that it has, which I really like, is um, the um, speed selector here. If you're a beginner and you you put it down to the the slowest level, it doesn't matter how how much you put your foot down on the pedal, it'll keep to the same speed. Really useful. And if you're doing anything tricky as well that you haven't done before. And that's a really good um, feature to have and obviously you just slide it up to um, super speed which is what I generally work on anyway. Other useful items on this machine, it's got a, a locking stitch so instead of having to go backwards and forwards on your work you just push this button and it does a locking stitch. It's got um, a useful needle position switch as well when you're quilting you nearly always want your needle to be down when you stop um, and, and this, this button does that. It's useful that it you can take it off so it doesn't do it. So like when I'm dressmaking, I don't always want my needle to finish in the downward position so I don't generally use it. And it's also got this um, start-stop feature. Um, you don't have to use a foot pedal, you can just use the button to um, you know start the machine and to stop it. Threading is easy peasy, it's the same as any machine, up, down, round, round. It's got an automatic needle threader, which if you haven't had one, I'll try and demonstrate it now for you, um, is a really good feature to have. Um, let me just unthread it. All you do, if you can, no, you probably can't see it, but anyway, there we go. Pull that round, hook that under, pudding, and there you go, your needle's threaded. I mean, how cool is that? Um, it comes with um, a really decent hard cover and um, a quilter's extension table as standard and it, it comes with all the usual bits and pieces that you would expect. Um, I think the cost of this machine was about £399. Um, so maybe if it's your first machine you maybe wouldn't um, spend that amount of money but if you can afford it, definitely would. Definitely, definitely would always buy Singer. Thank you for watching.